Hi, my name is Steve Cordero from Acrobat Enterprise Support. Welcome to IT Tips and Tricks. How does the Bootstrapper installation process work with Adobe Acrobat 10? Bootstrapper deployment is a way of utilizing the setup INI file as a control file to chain all of the updates in an installation so that there is one continuous installation and hence one package to deploy. As an overview, any setup or exe or other executable that installs and launches the MSI installer is a bootstrapper. The Acrobat Reader bootstrapper is provided as part of the Reader bundle or the Acrobat bundle on CD or web download. It's also provided for some releases on the FTP download site. Provide streamlined way to chain installs without the need for administrative install points. A couple of tips. It's not subject to the patch constraint that limits an AIP from installing a quarterly update over an out-of-cycle security patch. Thus, installs can always have the latest update without starting over. A few of the best practices. Back up your original download. Don't modify the original download. Use the customization wizard to create an MST for customizations and set up INI file and save the MST. Check the setup INI prior to running the setup EXE. Make any additional modifications as needed. Do not use the bootstrapper if you are already using an administrative install point. Common bootstrapper usage workflows can include any of the following. Manually configuring the setup INI and running the bootstrapper, modifying the installer and or installed product by the setup INI or the command line using the customization wizard to modify the product features set by the UI, registry, and files. I think we're ready to continue. Let's go. Let's get started. Copy the installation flat files from the DVD to a location on the hard drive. And let's navigate to flat files, select them, copy, and let's put them in a folder that I've already pre-created called Bootstrapper. Okay, we've got the files copied in. And the next step we want to do is to copy any update files that we're going to use in the Bootstrapper into the Bootstrapper folder. And in this case, we're using the Acrobat Update 10.1.1. Also, you're going to want to copy any modifications that you created in the Adobe Customization Wizard 10. In this case, we have one that we've created, and it's named Acropro MST. So, the next step is to edit the setup INI file in a text editor. And in this case, we're going to use Notepad. You'll want to go to the product section and add a new line. And the first line you're going to add is patch equal. And then you're going to put the appropriate update file or files that you're going to be using. If you have multiple files, you will use a semicolon as the delimiter. Okay, there's the first line. We also need to add another line, and that's going to be command line equal transforms for the MST. And please note that I am putting a uh, quotes around the name for the Acropro MST, and that's important. If you do not put those quotes around the file name, you will end up with a blank install without any serial number or any uh, of the modifications that you put for the installation. So, now that we've put the update name and the MST, the transform name, into the setup INI, let's save that file. And now let's close it up and run the installation. It 
Now there are two ways you can run this installation. Um, you can run it via setup exe or you can run it via the command line as a silent installation if you'd like. Uh, command line for that would be forward slash s capital A L L lowercase on the two L's. Please note that in the splash for the installer, we have the version number for the update, 10.1.1 setup. And then just continue on. We have the username, organization, and the serial number. We'll leave it at a typical installation. Default destination folder. And now we're ready to install the program. So let's do that. Okay, setup complete and we're finished. That ends this session. And don't forget to get the IT newsletter at www.tipsandtricksforit.com.